Hello and welcome to the third part of Nimbalus Programmer Survival Last Mission on Hard. This is the most important video because this is the gameplay portion. This is where you're going to see me succeed on the mission. And during the mission I will be commenting on each logic gate that is being activated in general terms. If you want to see exactly how this thing works, there's part 1 and part 2 which are going to be presented at the end of the video and also it's in my Nimbarus playlist on my channel. This video was born due to a request from a Reddit user called Just Dropping By. Let's get started and I hope you enjoy. Alright, the moment I've been waiting for to show you the last mission survival on hard programmer. So I'm going to focus on the retrieval drone only and tell you all the logic gates. Right now we got the downforce going on and uh, the delay gate is waiting 5 seconds and already the 5 seconds is up so the trigger impulse is going 4 second bursts and 2, two second breaks and is gonna do that all the way to the center already so you see that the first sequence happens relatively fast and as it's gonna be going and I make all sorts of comments as we get towards the center. Right now it's lagging because there's so much particles on the screen but when my drone self-destruct things will come back to normal. And here it's pretty cool we're gonna see the, the drill explode eventually uh, just in front of us just under us. I've had it explode just beside me in the past but at least it's far. Boom! And now I'm just slowly going diagonal towards the hole that's soon to be made and look on the, on the top right how, how he did a good job at destroying the cannon and trimming the rock so it's a very good start and here you're gonna understand why I'm using trigger and pulse instead of just straight straight um, burst if I, I were to use two straight burst I would just hit the wall and here you're gonna see I almost do that in fact even with the burst of four seconds here I'm approaching the hole and there you go now it's gonna he's gonna push in a moment and look at me get so close to the wall and in the past I even blew up those mines on hard I had to make certain adjustment and in fact that's almost what I'm going to do here I was getting a bit scared here you can see the corner the corner drill getting very close to the mine and I'm, uh, it's so close but no no problem and the downforce will help it stick to the ground from this moment on so that was a, a scary moment well, no big deal if uh, all I, I would have to do is start over but I, I liked this start of course I didn't know I was gonna succeed but I liked this start uh, and uh, I was happy that this uh, bad event didn't happen blowing up with the mines on the top. So you can see all these weapons shooting down and I'm gonna try to uh, bring your attention to the, the, to the mob I was mentioning in a previous video if we see him I think we see him we'll have time but he dies very very fast because he was extremely annoying so I'm slowly approaching the middle and we're just gonna let it go and continue to do the same thing nothing nothing changes until I reach the middle and I detect the magnet now we're gonna be approaching one of the barriers very soon and we, we can see the, the shield thing and I think we're gonna see the mob soon if I'm not mistaken right there you see the bottom right it just exploded that's the mob that went from under me and destroyed all my sensors and all these things and I entered into a rage and I armed this thing all completely overkill you can see everything melt and it's on hard and I almost have too many weapons because I'm almost going through the ground here and blowing up the binds it's, it's uh, pretty much dangerous but it's pretty much the maximum amount of weapons I can have and now we're gonna get into the center. I'm gonna look at my sheet. I have a sheet in front of me to make sure that I mention each element after this long video on second part. 
you're going to want to see the application of whatever I explained there. If you watch the whole thing, you're covered just because it's like uh, something like 40, 40 something minutes. So what I like about hard here, um, I'm heavier and all. Um, the device always falls below me, makes things much easier. And now if you pay attention here, we're going to see some green appearing. There you go. Now I'm picking up the the thing and see see how I'm not moving right now? That's because the burst is not over yet. Once the burst is over, I'm going to start to move left. All right. So it is explained in part two. It's uh, because there's a condition that uh, if the magnets is running, I'm going left using the button Z, as I explained. Remember also how I told you I need to drill through, but the, the, this diagonal um, sensor that I, I added really helps a lot. Uh, I, and it surprises me when I rewatched, uh, I kind of, uh, to be honest with you, I forgot about that. Um, but this diagonal sensor is really, really good. and. I, it makes me avoid having to uh, to drill through uh, through rocks when I get out of the middle. So we're just going left, no problem. Of course, we're looking for a certain altitude, uh, but we're still not there yet. First, we have to do the jump, and we're gonna get close to the jump. And the jump, this place is the exact reason why I changed this um, the left sensor. You're gonna see how smooth the jump is. Look at the back sensor, look at the back sensor right now. It touches, I jump, and the left sensor picks up, and I make another jump, and I continue. Everything looks so easy, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna continue, go west, and we're approaching altitude uh, minus three. And uh, so there's three, three conditions for it to take off. Altitude minus three, Magnus on, and VTOL off. So that's two and two and uh, logic gates combined that do that. And I'm taking up right now up to the altitude of 85. Once I reach altitude 85 very soon, bang, VTOL take off. And it's trying to bring me down, but when it brings me down, I go below 85, which reactivates the thrusters. So it's VTOL thruster, VTOL thruster. I go up and down, go up and down, and look at that. I don't even need to drill because of this beautiful diagonal sensor. And I'm already approaching the end here. And as soon as I'm going to touch a container with a very, very long sensor on the right, well, you know what's going to happen. We're almost there. I'm still going left, still jolting. And it's about to happen. Look at that beauty. It explodes, goes right in there. There you go. I just did it on hard. So this is the smoothest run. In fact, it's smoother than when I was on easy. I'm going to let it run just as a confirmation that I did it on hard. So here you can see that I have, see the holes on the top? There's only three holes. That's, that's on hard. So that's the run. I had to speak fast to talk about the logic gates. I hope it was helpful. This concludes the third part of Nimbatus Programmer Survival Last Mission on Hard. Making this three part video was the most challenging for me so far, and I thank again Just Dropping By for giving me the inspiration of doing this. If you are interested in the programmer mode, I really recommend that you watch parts 1 and 2. They are a bit long, but everything is explained button by button. For those who are struggling with this mission, these two videos combined with this one could really help you make your own creation and succeed. It is very satisfying to be able to do a mission like this fully automated on hard mode. If you like this video, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. I don't even know if it's been 3 weeks since my first video release, but the channel is growing really well in terms of views, likes and feedback from people. The only thing I'm lacking right now is subscribers. So if you feel like supporting the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Right now I'm doing Numbatus, Clickery Rose 2 and Beat Stickman. But in the future I will be covering many more games and I do not intend to stop. Right now I'm uploading at least 3 videos a week and I want to maintain or do even more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.